hey guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for this coming out here if you are just joining us please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you a former deputy national publicity secretary of the all progressive congress apc timmy frank has asked the department of state service dss to arrest and prosecute heads of ministries departments and agencies mds under the Mohamed Buhari led administration. The People's Democratic Party PDP chieftain stated this while reacting to the suspension and arrest of the, the former Central Bank of Nigeria, CBA, Governor Godwin Emefele, by the DSS. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, a former Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Timmy Frank, has asked the Department of State Service, DSS, to arrest and prosecute heads of Muslims, departments and agencies, and the Muhammad Buhari-led administration, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, chieftain, stated this uh, uh, PDP chieftain. He stated this while reacting to the suspension and arrest of the former Central Bank of Nigeria, CBM, Governor Godwin Emefele by the DSS. Record that Emefele was suspended by the President Bola Tinubu and was weeks to Abuja by operatives of the DSS after his arrest in Lagos State. According to Timmy Frank, security agencies must arrest and prosecute other heads of critical government agencies known to have abused their offices and allegedly stole the commonwealth of the people. He listed the heads to include the Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administ Administration and Safety Agency, Baj Jomo. Nigerian Ports Authority, NPA, Mohamed Bello, Koko, the group CEO of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, Mali Kiari, and the executive chairman of the Federal Island Revenue Service, Mohamed Nami. Other are the former Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, the immediate past Minister of Aviation, Senator Hadi Sarike, Sarika Sakira, okay, and the ex Minister of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster and Management and Social Development, Haji Haja Sadia Umar Farouk. The politician stated that failure to arrest and prosecute those suspects known to have used their office to, for selfish gain will show that the Tunibus administration, administration is only out to which hurt Emefele now under DSS custody. He added that without moving against the powerful Kaba, the Tunibus administration would have lent credence to insurrections that it is only up against Christian political office holders as recently alluded to by the immediate past governor of Kaduna State. Mala Nasa Erufai, according to him, those who allegedly benefited from illegal allocation of oil blocks and marginal oil fees championed by the NNPC and the CBN money redesign policy must be fished out and prosecuted. The execution of the National Social Investment Program by Ajia Farouk leaves a lot of questions to be answered. This is the time for Nigerians to know what really happened and how much was used to feed school pupils at home during COVID. The recent deception by Saraki, who chartered an Ethiopian airline aircraft 
to deceive Nigerians that Nigeria Air has materialized must also be proved. Personal assistance to ex-president uh, Buhari Tunde Sabiu must not be left out, he said. Meanwhile, in another developing story, the presidency on Sunday explained his decision, his decision to back a Christian as a Senate president. It explained that Nigeria could not afford to have a Muslim as a Senate president at this time, having produced Muslims as president and the vice president. The vice president, Kasim Shetima, who said this at a dinner with lawmakers across party lines in Abuja, on Saturday night, noted that the party came up with the consensus ticket of Senator Godin Okbabio as Senate President and Jubri Buaru as deputy in the interest of the stability of the country. Shetima said this as two aspirants for the position of the Speaker of the House of the Representatives Aliyu Bitaru and Yusuf Gagidi was reported to have stepped down. Explaining the position of President Bola Tinubu, the Vice President said Nigeria could not afford to have a Muslim as a Senate President since both the President and the Vice President are Muslims, stressing that the President of the Senate should be a Christian. The punch has reported to the OPPO over the same fate presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress which featured Tinubu and Shetima in the run-up to the February 25th presidential poll. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.